I've never paid for a meal ever. You wanna play Call of Duty tomorrow? My schedule's wide open, we can do whatever. Some fake male feminists like to celebrate the fact that women occupy the majority of life coaching positions while there's still only 3% of brick masons. Still a lot of work to be done. I encourage any man who cares to enroll his wife in a brick mason apprenticeship. Don't let her quit her other job though, she can do it on the weekends. I promise you she can handle it. She's stronger than you think. I think you're gonna probably have to pay that one. You know I quit my job. Babe, I support you in both of your careers. Some people think it's weird that I stay at home with the dogs while she's working on a steel mill because they're afraid of a working woman. Newsflash, women are gonna be in the workplace. Especially this woman, because I've racked up quite a bit of debt. And don't get me started on the fact that 89% of cell phone tower climbers are men. We offer subsidies for women in entertainment, but when it comes to climbing a cell phone tower, suddenly they're on their own. Here's a list of grants for female filmmakers. Now here's a list of grants for female oil rig workers. Women can and should be rig pigs, especially the butch ones. But hey, maybe that's just me who cares. Only you know, it, it is kind of funny how the larger feminism and equality movement mostly benefit the men that are scumbags or have some of the worst qualities in our modern day society. But uh, I bet that's uh, some kind of coincidence there. Welcome back. Extra beautiful, extra amazing human beings. This is Lukadowski of WeAreChange.org. A lot of absolutely crazy news to get into today. A lot of it that is being censored. A lot of it is being unquestioned. As we get new marching orders from our Lord and Savior, Dr. Fauci. Yep, lots to talk about there. As well as other ridiculous government mandates. As there are new shocking numbers coming in that deserves our attention but before we get into that plus a lot more the short clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is of course by ryan long he does amazing sketch comedy to check him out and the full video that we played check our description after the end of this video his satire is definitely well needed in our modern day society where we get more truth from comedy than we do the mainstream media or even our social media news feeds that are filled with absolute garbage like people having temper tantrums over cartoon series uh, over a decade ago. Yes, the woke mob is trying to cancel Futurama and what did you expect in a society that is becoming less empathetic, more egotistical, and according to a new study, a society when more and more people start thinking that they are better than everyone they know. This of course all a byproduct of most likely big tech social media intervention in our daily lives, the algorithm that is force fed on our face holes that is created creating more of a vain society by the day. Thank you, Big Tech Big Brother Overlords, for providing such grade A entertainment as we see the fall of civilization, but hey, that's another story. In other news, many Americans fear inflation as, of course, the federal government just prints money willy-nilly pressing zero on the computer. As, of course, the U.S. dollar is mainly backed by people's ignorance of how the system actually works. In related financial news, Elon Musk's company SpaceX just announced that it will start accepting Dogecoin as payment for a seat to its mission to the moon, clarifying that this will not only be the first crypto in space, but also the first meme in space. And while one of the world's richest people is trying to send people to space, the other is hiring the best PR and legal representation he could buy trying to put out the fire that is the controversy surrounding Bill Gates's marriage which as we talked about in detail ever since the first day of the announcement could have been because of Bill Gates's reckless dangerous and disgusting behavior like the fact that he was hanging out and being very close buddies with Jeffrey Epstein and it looks like the speculations we made about this were pretty on point as we're finding out that Melinda Linda Gates wanted a divorce by Bill Gates when information started to come out about Bill's close relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, an individual that she told Bill not to hang out with, but Bill refused. We also found out that Bill Gates likes to visit strip clubs, hire strippers, have soirees with his ex-girlfriends for one-week getaways, swim nude with his friends, and uh, be somewhat of a freak, which is the exact opposite portrayal of him and his sweaters that of course the mainstream media pictures of him again the mainstream media propped this man as to be a godlike savior figure whose words are gospel and now for some reason every media outlet on these extremely troubling reports and relationships 
that he had with some of the worst people in this world. And I think this maybe signals a larger fight by some of the world's richest people that is happening behind the scenes, since it does seem that the media that treated him like an angel has definitely turned their back against Mr. Bill Gates. Another media darling that loves the camera and is treated like a saint by the media establishment, even though he did very dangerous gain-of-function research inside of China that he personally initiated and backed, is, of course, Dr. Fauci that is also in the news. And before getting into that, I just wanted to thank everyone supporting this independent media organization. It means the world to us. And whether it's cryptocurrencies, checking out some of the products, physical mail, or checking out LukeUncensored.com. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, and that's why thank you so much for being a part of this independent media organization. I have a very important Luke Uncensored video coming out later on today with uh, a lot more details about the laboratory that Dr. Fauci financed in China, and, and specifically a lot of the information that is critical of a major industry that has a criminal record that we can't even bring up without the fears of being censored. Again, I'm going to talk about that plus a lot more all today exclusively on LukeUncensored.com. Stay tuned for the email to get the update when the video comes out. Now, it's safe to say anyone really paying attention right now is absolutely mind-boggled to the extent that the establishment has been milking this current situation, not only for their political benefit, but for the benefit of the billionaire class. This, as we're told, conflicting messages from 14 days to slow the spread to we need to quarantine the healthy, we need the lockdowns, you now need this medical procedure, you now need this mask, and this tomfoolery has definitely been exemplified by Dr. Fauci that has been flip-flopping on major issues since the beginning of this almost exactly a year ago when he told people people not to wear masks and today he came out on NBC's Chuck Todd's new show and said that it is possible that these mask mandates could continue indefinitely in order to reduce things like the seasonal flu. A seasonal flu where in the United States, in the United Kingdom, and many other countries has absolutely disappeared, which according to Dr. Fauci and some other mainstream media medical doctors, this was allegedly because of, quote, physical distancing and mask wearing. Now, whether that's true or not, we do not know. We are not medical doctors here. It is also important to note here that states with very strict mask mandates overall almost did the same and worst in some instances instances compared to states that didn't have strict mask mandates like Texas and Florida. The flu numbers there were, were also almost identical. Now, Dr. Fauci also in this interview said that it's, quote, time to relax some of these mask rules, mainly because of people getting the shot. A lot of people have already criticized the current guidelines at being very strict. And personally, in my opinion, I tend to agree with them because personal health should be a personal choice and in my opinion not something that the government mandates you to take steps with what they think is right for you a again throughout this latest situation the government has empowered themselves tremendously with very little transparency very little accountability a lot of the decisions here let's be honest here for for anyone paying attention from anyone r seeing things from the very beginning seem almost absolutely made up and a lot of them are nonsensical a lot of the lockdowns a lot of these restrictions a lot of these policies have had extensive horrible damage on the social, economic, mental, and physical health of our society that is going to be very difficult to go back from. But still, that is not stopping most governments in the world, like the ones in the United Kingdom, that are warning people not to hug each other after the restrictions are lifted in their country. Yes, government and medical officials in the United Kingdom are urging British people not to hug people as in England, Scotland, and North Ireland, there have been zero deaths related to the sickness that happened this Monday. Zero. Yet, the citizens of those countries face some of the most strictest lockdowns, where police helicopters are even chasing down people in forests who are alone on nature walks, giving them extensive fines and sometimes even jailing them for the crime of being outside by themselves in nature. And when we look at the powers that the governments have, have given themselves here, it's, it's absurd that the UK government just announced that on May 17th, 
the British people will be, quote, permitted by the government to meet a total of six people indoors. And again, what? Who, why, who, who, who made up these ridiculous regulations, these restrictions? Who's going to be enforcing them? And who gave the government the sole authority to tell you how many people I can meet and cannot meet? Police in the United Kingdom have barged down doors, broken into people's homes, violently attacked them, assaulted them, threw them in cages for violating these decrees put on by government officials that, let's be honest here, are absolutely made up and ridiculous. Curfews? Lockdowns? There's preliminary studies showing that they only have adverse side effects and absolutely do not help anyone except the state and the multinational corporations that are allowed to do business while everyone else is restricted and shut down. Again, the government issuing restrictions on, on hugging shows you how insane the state could be and how little they think of you as an individual to be able to take care of yourself and have personal responsibility for yourself. This viewpoint and larger elitist ideology is of course shared by Dr. Fauci that also just recently said that only by next year, one more year from now, is when we will be quote back to normal. And, and who is he to decide that? He told us in the beginning it was only going to be two weeks. It's already been a year. He's extending it now to another year. And I'm sorry, the way that this man has contradicted himself so many times, he is absolutely someone that I am having a harder and harder time of believing. His policies, his protocols, his recommendations have hurt so many citizens by authority figures who are absolutely arbitrarily using these rules and protocols for their own personal benefit. That's perfectly exemplified what just recently happened in Elmhurst College, a college, by the way, that is participating in team sports like hockey and basketball, where men clash into each other, sweat all over each other, jump on top of all each other, without, of course, wearing a mask. But also the same university that just took $16,000 from students and kicked them out of the university all because of this photo that was released of them at a party which was outdoors, which the college found and was angry because they weren't following Fauci's mask policy. Yes, three students out of the University of Massachusetts Amherst were kicked out of their semester. The college still took $16,000 from them each after they found a photo of them outside without a mask. And again, that's just absolutely, utterly ridiculous, along with, of course, the other protocols implemented by universities all across the United States that are requiring students to take a shot if they intend to go to school. Again, the statistics around this and the health effects of this we're going to be discussing on LukeUncensored.com. It's also important to note here that the CDC just changed the way that they will be counting numbers for this specific illness, which of course will lower the reporting of this sickness. It's important to understand that the way that they count it has changed. And as that's happening, Many scientific experts are talking about exponential decay that's unfolding right now with specific cases that are absolutely declining and going down. How will the government manage this? Will some of the lockdowns, will some of the restrictions, will some of the regulations ease? Well, I definitely think it, it, it's fair to say that. Is this finally over? Are we in the clear? Well, no. I would say that this just began, especially with some of the more crazier information that just came out from researchers in the United States that are developing new methods of controlling human beings and their behaviors through genetic engineering that creates a magnetized protein that activates specific groups of nerve cells from a distance. Yes, we're going to be talking about this. Klaus Swab's push for a digital biological future, all of course on Luke uncensored.com as well as uh, a lot of information surrounding the shot a crazy statement made by norway about the shot and of course a lot of general information that is not usually youtube friendly luke uncensored.com i've been doing a lot of research for this i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys sharing these videos with your friends family members random strangers today's homework assignment is send this video to your neighbor if you haven't met your neighbor knock on their door say hi relationships you have with the people closest to you are some of the most important 
things that you could have in life. It is one of the most valuable things that you should foster and nurture as best as you can. Say hi to your neighbor and be like, hey, someone randomly sent this video. I was wondering, what do you think since, you know, whatever, your lawn's so great, you look like such a smart, amazing individual since you probably are way smarter than me, you know more, more than me. What do you think of this rambling big nose kid that I just saw a video of? And because you guys do that, because you guys share the video, I'm still here. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. This is why I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on LukeUncensored.com.